Northern Territory government has rejected claims it forgot to order more than 1,400 doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine. The jab is set to be administered in remote Indigenous communities from Monday, but it hasn't been delivered. A double shot for maximum effect. Three weeks after getting her first jab, Ausmat occupational therapist Erica Blakely became the first Territorian to receive two doses of the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, it feels good. Yeah, I feel well. The frontline worker from the Howard Springs quarantine facility is among about 4,000 people at the top of the government's priority list. So the health and safety of our frontline workers as well as Territorians has always been paramount in running the Howard Springs facility to repatriate vulnerable Australians at home. As frontline staff receive their second Pfizer jabs, the government is turning its focus to Phase 1B. That will begin on Monday when Aboriginal health organisations begin administering the AstraZeneca vaccine in remote Indigenous communities. Commonwealth have relaxed the Phase 1B and 2A requirements for our Aboriginal Territorians and that means that we'll need to go into communities less frequently to deliver the doses. A shipment of more than 1,400 AstraZeneca doses failed to arrive in the top end on March 12 as planned. The federal government says that's because the NT never placed an order or provided a delivery address. It wasn't a matter of forgetting to order a vaccine or administrative error. It was simply the vaccine was approved once we'd started our rollout. The Commonwealth offered it to the Northern Territory. We indicated, yes, we would take it. But as we worked through those details, we didn't need the vaccine. The NT government doing its best to inject confidence before it scales up the rollout. Matt Cunningham, Sky News, Darwin.